I just got out of the shower and I'm trying to think of what to have for lunch. Which I really want to go to the store and get some salsa and spinach and make some scrambled eggs and like mix all those in because that just sounds so good. So I think I'm going to take a trip to Walmart. But um, I eat gluten free. I've been gluten free for almost two years now. That means I can't have pizza crust, bread, crackers, pasta, anything of that sort, like even some candies, soups, which like I love all those things, which you can obviously get gluten free pizza crust, gluten free pasta. But in reality, like it's not even it's not healthier, it's just they're about the same in unhealthiness, but I think gluten free is a little more carbs actually because it's made out of rice or corn or almond flour. But being gluten free, it is challenging at first, but now that I've been gluten free for almost two years, I've kind of like developed like an intolerance to it. So if I have it, I get a pounding headache and just the worst stomach ache and just it's a nightmare and it's just like why eat it if I get those effects and I originally one of the reasons why I went gluten free is because it's one of my triggers for really chronic migraines like when I get migraines I have to be in a cold room I throw up it's like eight hours of just intense like throwing up constantly like diarrhea just I can't talk, I can't think straight, like I can't even text on my phone if I need anything, like if I'm home, which I used to get them six to eight months starting from first grade. And my last actual episode was freshman year. I just graduated this year. So it's been about three years, but I've kind of like felt it, like start to come on and then I would take a headache medicine that actually is really, really effective personally for me. No, I don't really have anything to do today, so it's just kind of follow me around and watch what I do when I'm home alone. Don't mind how I look or what I'm doing because I'm trying to cook some lunch. But I go to Walmart so I can get some of my favorite salsa and some organic spinach so I can make some scrambled eggs with those things because that sounds amazing. So I go to Walmart, literally dressed like this. I'm in high-waisted shorts, which is kind of like a more of an outfit than... I typically wear and like I've read a lot about like human trafficking specifically in my area it's really big and like my dad's been encountered by it so like I've been super self-conscious about like people around me like not everyone's intent is to hurt somebody or like attack somebody like that and this guy probably like older 20s like a little darker skin tone maybe like Indian very skinny like was looking at me and I like smile at strangers I'm like like I see that you're looking at me like hi like cool then I go down a few aisles because then I was like well maybe I should get corn dogs for Hayden which I did and then I turned the corner and he had a cart I had a basket so like I was like trying to walk towards the yogurt because I wanted to get some yogurt and he's like oh sorry like like when you kind of like almost collide but you don't I'm like, oh, it's fine, whatever. I'm in the yogurt looking. All of a sudden, I like turn and look, and he's standing next to me, and he's like, because I'm looking at my phone, trying to be distracted. I'm texting my cousin, and he's like, you are so happy. Why are you so happy looking at your phone? And I'm like, uh, I'm texting my cousin. And he's like, oh, but you are so beautiful. Literally went out in public wearing no makeup, so this wouldn't happen. <laughs> he's like, you are so beautiful. Can I get your number? I'm like, sorry, I'm taken. And he's like, oh, sorry. And like, I walked away. I immediately was like, I'm done in here. I am going to the checkout. So I go to the checkout and we almost collide again. I literally don't know how he got there so fast, but we collided again. He's like, oh no, you go first. I'm like, this is not happening right now. So I check out and he checks out behind me and they have like those cameras that you can look at. So I'm like watching him in the camera. I watch him leave and go out the entrance that I didn't come in. So I'm like, okay, so I go out my out the entrance that I came in, he went out this entrance, and I sat in my car, and I locked it, and I was like, wow. After <laughs> we just discussed this as a whole family, of course somebody approached me. Like, not saying that I was ever going to get human trafficked or anything of that sort, just he probably, he could just be innocent. It's just kind of weird that something 
like that because nobody ever approaches me ever nobody ever asks for my number like I've never had somebody ask for my number in person except today right after we were talking about it. so uh, yeah I still I had this middle part too I was like carrying the basket why are you looking at your phone so happy because I'm trying to not interact with you sir like he's probably really innocent and was just actually curious of like wanting my number but like I'm 18 and you were probably like 27 or something and I'm yeah so I'm making eggs so then I get home and there's a those black bees the wasps whatever they are here you can see what I'm cooking So whatever, there's a, those black bees, I don't even know what they're called. And it was like flying around in my garage and I couldn't get out of my car because one, I'm literally completely terrified of bees and two, I just, every time I got out of my car it would like fly at me so like, I just, I'm so terrified of literally anything and I'm probably just being paranoid but it's better to be paranoid than have something happen to me and I'm just so confused. Where is the chopper? I literally could eat this. Just drink it, just as it is. It is so good. I get the restaurant style because I don't really like the chunks. I don't know how much of this to put in. Uh, this is how it turned out. It looks amazing. I think it's pretty much done. It smells so good. Uh, it kind of looks like throw up, but you know, like, we're living, we're learning, I guess. <laughs> My eyes are pure. <laughs> Honestly, like, Rachel Ray is quaking. I put a lot of salsa in here. Am I mad? No. We love a healthy girl. Say hi. Hi. Okay. <laughs> Still looked at the wrong spot. <laughs> Delete. <laughs> Can you put it over there for me? <gasps> I tend to want to look over there. No. Here. <laughs> After I ate my scrambled eggs, I passed out at 3.30 and I woke up around 6.30. Hayden fell asleep around 5 and it is currently 10.06 and he is still sleeping. Oh my god. He's gonna be up all night. He typically, he will wake up and then watch like 20 minutes of YouTube and pass back out. Like, oh, I think he's up. Mm. Did you hear him? I did. Yes. Is he moving? No, he's not moving. I don't hear it now. I don't hear it now. But I